are a few positive things that you can get involved with in Northwest Arkansas. Check out our Happening in Northwest Arkansas events. The Diamond Center is hosting an inaugural event. It's the first night of giving. Okay. We've talked about this one a few times because it has a, such a fun theme. It's casino themed and it's going to benefit charities in Northwest Arkansas and in the River Valley. Now you have two opportunities to attend this event. The event at their Fayetteville location is on November 16th and in Fort Smith the event is on November 17th. The times for both nights are from 6 to 10 p.m. and it does take place at the Diamond Center in each city. Tickets are just $100. All right, also happening, this is a big event that happens every year here, especially in Fayetteville. It's the lighting of the Ozarks happening on the downtown square. That's actually happening on Friday. You know when that switch is hit? Officially Merry Christmas. Yes, it's Well, here. in my mind. <laughs> the switch is going to be flipped a little after 6 by our very own Chief Meteorologist, Dan Scoff. There is going to be carols sung by the Sona Choir and, of course, the Lights of the Ozarks Parade. This is the 30th anniversary of Lights of the Ozarks. And in Bentonville, the lighting of the square, that's going to be taking place on Saturday at 6 p.m. That event is free to everyone. So excited. Holidays around North uh, around in Northwest Arkansas are always so beautiful. So I'm really excited about all the holiday kickoff festivities. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Also happening this weekend, the Botanical Garden of the Ozarks, they are hosting another outdoor movie and it's going to be festive. You can bring your family out to see the holiday classic Elf. It's first come, first serve. So get there if you want a good seat. The event is set to begin at 7 p.m. Snacks and drinks are available for purchase. Adult tickets are $10. Kids four to 12 are $5, and then those under three, well, they're going to get in for free. So go check that out this weekend if you want to at the Botanical Gardens. Well, if you're bummed about the farmer's market being closed, well, you don't have to be, and that's because the indoor market that has returned to record in Bentonville. This indoor market that's going to be opening for the season on Saturday and will stay open until February. Here's your chance to shop everything from fresh produce, baked goods, arts and crafts, and more. Plus, of course, it's a perfect time to shop local for the holidays. The market is going to be open at 9 a.m. until noon. Oh, yeah, that's going to be great as well. Well, Cranksgiving, yeah, I said that right. Cranksgiving is back and bigger than ever this year. Cranksgiving is a food drive on two wheels. It's part bike ride, part food drive, and part scavenger hunt. All you need is a bike, a bag, and a helmet. Cranksgiving is being held on November the 18th, and you're going to gather food for traditional Thanksgiving dinners. The event is free. It's family friendly. At the event, cyclists will be given a food list and will cycle around the city collecting the items on the list. Riders are encouraged to bring about $15 to $20 for their purchases and a bag or backpack to carry those items. There are three Three cities participating this year, one in Rogers happening at Ozark Brewing Company, in Fayetteville at Fossil Cove, and in Bentonville at Bike Rack Brewing. The event begins at each location at noon on Saturday. Well, looking ahead, get your tickets now and head to Crystal Bridges on Thursday, November 30th, because they are presenting a night of Afrofusion beats. There's going to be a few different DJs throughout the night. There's also going to be dance instruction, and you can shop a few local businesses. This is a collaboration between Her Set, Her Sound, and uh, Tell Africa 360, and it's going to be taking place in the Great Hall from 6.30 until midnight. Remember, they were supposed to have this before, but it did get postponed, so I think this is the rescheduled event. Again, that is happening on November 30th. Tickets for the event are $25, 20 for members, and if you just want to take part in the dance portion of this event, those tickets are um, 1250 for yeah. members. Got it. And speaking of Crystal Bridges, we got to stay right there because here is a reminder that you still have a little bit of time to see Raphael Lozano Hammer's The Listening Forest. You can experience the exhibit that uses light, sound, and other technology to give you an interactive experience walking through the woods. The Listening Forest will be open through December 31st. We've got ticket information over on our website. We also have been out there a couple of times, so go over on our website if you're looking for more details and uh, your chance to see us hanging out and listening for us. We'll have it for you.